are live. Welcome to Willow Season 1, Episode 5. This episode is called Wildwood. So, spoilers for the movie and all of the episodes that have come out so far. And... Let's see... Yes, so... Since last episode ended with the the evil creatures, you know, based like already knowing, like they were being sent by the crone out to attack. I appreciate that we don't waste any time. We get direct, like this episode literally hits the ground running, and sort of the good guys, you know, with a a foot chase. It has been a little while since we just had a, a chase, didn't it? Isn't it? They, they are a pretty big part of Willow the movie, so. Yeah. And... You know, Borman can tell that Graydon is into Elora, so... You know, pretends that... Or, or I suppose... No, actually, by the end of the episode, it seems like Borman does legitimately... You know, he is good at, at getting women to you know yeah um and i like that you know he's he can tell you know he can yeah he can basically tell what's about to happen so he says i have a plan and you know it's a little while before the plan pans out but yeah and let's see I, you know, so, yeah, um, this thing of, like, men trying to find a way to impress women, you know, it's a bit dated today. I appreciate that when he actually, you know, when, when things improve between him and Elora, it's because he talks to Elora. It's not some, like, trick or something. Actually, yeah, I guess they were, like... Because in the movie, it's it's a love po uh, po potion? Love powder? Wh whatever. Some, you know, magical love thing. And yeah, here it's, no, like, have a conversation. You know, that's, that's how you figure out if you're compatible. Don't try to find some, you know, magic trick that can just make the other person just fall for you just you know yeah and yeah so we meet scorpia and i appreciate you know kit tries to make an impression you know and jade also like yeah that that was let's see and then we have Willow and Graydon in the in the cell, and like basically, like Graydon is still trying. Like basically, everyone he talks to, he's trying to find some way to improve things with Elora. And yeah, they meet the the brownies. Now, let's see, um, and they do, they, they do the thing with, like, what's it called, ah, can't believe I'm blanking on the word, um, lampshading, that's it, where, you know, they, they, like, you know, Willow asks the brownie, you know, maybe you know this other brownie, and I forget her name, but the, the you know, she turns out to be the daughter of Rule. Yeah, Franjean was the one who wasn't there, and Rule was the one who was there, yeah. Um, I, I did like the thing with, you know, he's no longer with us. He headed south, and she's no longer with us. She's dead. Further south. And, um, but, but yeah, you know, Franjean, uh, Rule's daughter, says it's very offensive to, to pretend, you know, to expect that, you know, they, they know everyone from that, um, what's it called, R race, I guess, in this case, though, in real life, it's more ethnicity, but yeah, you know, and she points out, well, what, a, you know, do all Nelwyn know each other? 
I mean, I... I feel like if Warwick Davis himself was really uncomfortable with that joke, he would have asked for it to be changed, and they probably would have... Like, it wouldn't be difficult to rewrite so that... You know, yeah, you could easily just have Willow say, I know I'm going out on a limb here, I'm not saying that all, you know, all brownies know each other, but, you know, so, yeah, I guess he's, and, and he is actually a member of a minority, so I'm not going to speak for him. You know, pl please put in the comments if you think that it was completely wrong. I, I don't feel like it's my place to judge. And, let's see... Yeah, you know, Kit still says, Jade is my friend, you know, and I think it's Elora who's like, yeah, yeah, sure, that's... <clears throat> and we see that Elora has Rizel's wand, so that's, yeah. And Borman is retelling his story and, like, part of it looks like a shampoo commercial or something. That, that was really, really funny. It looks like the, the actor had a blast, uh, you know, doing this ridiculous, just, yeah. And... Um, I love that when, when, um, when Elora can't get the wand to work, you know, she, she points it and she says the spell... It's like, and then she tries to get like like it's an intent like like it's an NES cartridge or something. That's just so good. And good fight between Jade and and Scorpia. I I quite like that. You know, at first it really does look like you know she. It looks like Jade has her, but no, Scorpia. You know, she's probably been held at knife point before. You know, she's she's trained for this kind of thing. So, yeah. And... Yeah. The brownie jokes are very similar to the film. You know, the... the um, kind of goofy, silly, and... and you know, but it, I, I kind of like the, the bit with... Ah, what's it called? Um, the, um... The map... You know, okay, so you see that thing, don't go there, that's a, you know, and he keeps referring to Graydon as the sad frowny prince or something, just, yeah. And Scor Scorpia tells Jade about Gael and the past, so that was actually, I, I gotta admit, I didn't s expect that there was actually history there, so that's, yeah. You know, that's why that was what she saw in the, you know, ba I mean, basically all of them saw something that was very personal to them. Elora saw her mother. Ah, I want to say Kit saw her grandmother, Bevmorda. Um, Borman was frustrated by a lock he couldn't get into, which would obviously upset him way more than any person he could meet there. And, let's see. Uh, yeah, and, and Elora comes back, and she's very happy to see Willow, and really not happy to see Graydon. And, you know, we can see the kit is worried she'll lose Jade to Scorpia, and that is, like... You know, if someone reconnects with with someone from their past, you know, that can really upset a relationship. And I really appreciate they actually, you know, Kit, she's a character who sometimes makes some mistakes, which obviously makes her much more interesting than if she didn't. Here she actually, she, she tells Jade, if you want to... Go, you know, and, and at first, Jade's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you need me for the, for the quest, I get that, you know, but she, you know, she's like, if after the quest, you want to go back and live with your sister, and, you know, I'd really like 
to be with you. You know, she's not telling her that, you know, it's, it's never going to work. Or I demand, as as the princess of the of Tiraslene, I demand you come home with me. Or some kind of thing, you know, because it is an issue that comes up. And what you want to do, the, the healthy thing to do there is to try to find a way for it to work instead of forcing the relationship to be what you think it should be. You know, communicate with your partner. And I really love, like, throughout this episode, like, Graydon and Elora Dan and Kit and Jade, like, they actually talk instead of this ridiculous thing where they're, you know, like, like what, what you'd have in, in media from... Some some years back would be that Kit would like make up her mind. No, Jade is not go. You know, I can't leave the castle. Uh, Jade is insistent on. Um, the best thing would be for me to not talk to her, because if I talk to her, then she'll just be upset, and there's no way we can work it out. And then by the end, it would you know Jade would be like, we can do that. You know, it's finally Kit says no, but I'm worried about this, and the, you know. So I'm really glad, because that is, like, I've seen so many instances where someone who people listen to will say something, like, really provocative and, like, ah, you know, you gotta make sure that your partner, you know, you gotta do this, because everybody loves that, instead of just saying communicate. Communication, like, honestly, regardless of the relationship, but maybe especially in romantic relationships... And, and uh, yeah, also if, like, family relationships be can become strained. Communicate. Communicate openly. Try to figure out if you have some common ground. And if it just cannot be, if, if you know, if no matter what, you end up with a result where at least someone is very unhappy, try to make it work as well as possible. You know, there's, you can't, al you can't make everybody happy. But you can always try your best. You could try to be as nice and, and you know, yeah, do, do your best. And the I, I do quite like that, you know, we went from this hostage situation to a party. That was really, you know, have you cast an invisibility spell? No, they just don't care about us. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, the, the party, like, everybody does something that they, you know, Willow's telling stories. Um, Kit is, uh, uh, what, what do they call that? Drinking the other guy under the, drinking the guy under the table, which I'm sure the conservatives are going to have a field day with that one. N not to mention, you know, there's that bit where we think Toth is in charge and then he steps aside and a woman comes in, you know, and I just, I could, I heard the sound of a thousand conservative viewers screaming in agony that a woman was actually going to have a prominent role in a piece of modern fiction. So the, the, yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, you know, everybody has the, the, yeah, and Jade is celebrated, even though she's, you know, she's clearly not used to this kind of positive attention. You know, she thought that, like, her, her fighting and, and this thing, you know, was going to be the big thing for her. Uh, let's see. Uh, but, but yeah, you know, basically the party, everybody is able to, ah, what's the word? Mm. Everybody is able to relax and, and kind of be themselves. And it, you know, it makes a lot of the relationships better because a lot of it was this tension because they felt like they couldn't come out and say the thing. And Graydon is shaved. And, you know, it's it's such a great, like, you know, he's like, ah, do, you, do you think she'll like it? Who? Ah, no, it's just a, a girl that I'm interested in. Uh, well, women like beards. I wish you'd told us before. <laughs> I wish you'd have said something. You know, that guy doesn't have a beard. Yeah, he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> and they play Crimson and Clover, which... You know, to me, that will always be connected to Monster. But this was also a really great scene. And, yeah, you know, the, the truth plums mean that they, 
you know, I'll have to say the truth. And obviously, you know, and if there are any kids watching, don't, don't do the following. But obviously, it's, you know, it's like they got drunk. It's, you know, alcohol lowers inhibitions. It doesn't always make you tell the truth. But it can, you know, I'm, I'm told. I don't. I have no personal experience with it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and, and Kit says, you know, she didn't know that Jade was, you know, but she suspected and she was afraid of how it would affect Jade. And, you know, yeah, again, it is this thing of she was, she was worried about what if someone she's in love with knew the truth. Not, not about them being in love, but, you know, and... Yeah, again, like, now that Jade knows, and, you know, to to be fair, there's probably also, you know, the fact that she's being celebrated and she's among family and this whole thing. But if Jade, if Kit had told Jade, you know, years ago, I think you might be related to Bone Reavers, you know, Jade could have made the choice to go out and seek out her family, you know. So, again, like, throughout the, the you know, the message clearly is, you know, openly communicate. That's better. And, yeah, Elora saw Graydon kill his brother, and it was this thing of, you know, um, when I kissed, I mean, when I removed the possession, you know, and the, the yeah, you know, basically he has to figure out his identity. He... You know, and, and that, now that we know that he did kill his brother, apparently, that, yeah, you know, I mean, maybe when he first met Kit, maybe he was scared that he would end up hurting her, you know, um, I'm, I'm not saying that that necessarily makes a lot of sense, but that's, you know, human emotions don't always make sense. Sometimes it is this thing of just, yeah, um, you know, the, uh, as an example... In real life, um, if 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 your parents divorce when you're still a child, or you know if you become an orphan or something, you might worry that other people are going to abandon you, even though that wasn't you know. It's, most of the time, it's not the child's fault. That you know, obviously, it definitely isn't with orphan, you know, almost in extremely rare cases, but yeah. But divorce is almost never the, the child's fault, uh, but children don't understand that, you know. When, when you're a child, you think that, you know, maybe not the entire world, but certainly the world, the domestic world, you think that if your parents are upset, it's because you did something. And you, and it's your responsibility to make them happy again, you know, and, and that's just, that's a natural side effect of, you know, we, we know today that the, the, a good way to raise children is to make them feel like they are being listened to, you know, even though, like, it's not always possible to, to do everything that the, the kid needs or wants, but, you know, so, so yeah, of course, that means that then if something really bad happens, they're going to think, oh, it was me. I did a bad thing, and I got to figure out what the bad thing is, and I got to make it up to them, you know. So, yeah, I, this episode really, and, and the show in general, really touching on some complex themes and doing it with a lot of emotional intelligence. I'm really, really digging the show. That, that can wait. And, yeah, you know, finally, after all this time, Elora and Kit bond, and, you know, basically, yeah, Elora was going to say something with, you know, I, I was cruel, but uh, instead they, you know, they focus on the thing Kit needs to, you know. Elora is really good at communication, you know, she... She's not, you know, when she's with Graydon, she feels uncomfortable, but she finally just says it, and, you know, and it helps, and she helps Kit, 
with the yeah um with with jade and we see that willow is suffering so from imposter syndrome which again so relevant there's so many people today that feel like they don't deserve to be where they are you know and like ultimately we are you know we're gonna get some more information but i mean today he does know at least some magic you know but but yeah there was this big you know in in real life it's not necessarily that there's you know ridiculous stories about someone but there are a lot of people who feel like you know i'm i'm not qualified for the job i just got what am i gonna do you know how, how I, I don't feel like I can protect my family like I, I you know, but I but I have to get them to, to think that I can because otherwise, you know, and all these things and just, yeah, it's it's extremely important to, to work on that. And the, the yeah, with, with Kit and Jade, like, now we know there is actually this, you know, the, the, uh, Something, something really awful was was done to 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 Jade by you know Kit's people. Uh, I'm just really quickly gonna make sure that I put that in the review as well. Found place issues dealt with emotional intelligence. There we go. Yeah, so the, the um, you know, it, it reminded me of, like, when, you know, in real life, it's, it's somewhat like when people, you know, sadly, if you are a member of a majority, if, if you're, let's say, people from minority groups, you know, maybe not them personally, but probably their their ancestors have been treated badly by the people who had the power. Now, that's not, that doesn't mean that the people who have power today, you know, you, you can't go back and change that. What you can do is do the best to address the, the issues today and try to try to be there for the the people and yeah basically you know like in in real life it's it's maybe equivalent to if if jade was you know african american or it, it, basically you know non white maybe jewish maybe muslim or something and kit is basically you know white you know, let's see, you know, in real life, not, no longer that many kings and queens, so I guess let's go with, she's like the daughter of the president or something, you know, and the, the pre maybe not the president themselves, but one of their ancestors who also had governmental power, you know, was responsible for, for some, you know, policy that, really hurt the the ancestors and and that's yeah you know again like extremely relevant of an issue and it is this thing of you know kit basically says i you know uh, yeah um crap i forget the lines um, I think I can probably find it very quickly, so if it, okay. and the, yeah, so let's see, it's the, yeah, oh, crap, wait, is it doing it? Uh, looks like it's not doing it. Okay, I'll try doing it like this then. I swear I'm not going to spend forever on this. Um, so basically, it would really—you're still not gonna. 
Okay, uh, if it doesn't work after this, then I'm... Crap. What if I do... And then I will do that, that, and that. Now I think it should work. And if it doesn't, I will just... No. It does not work. Um, I... Th I feel like she basically says, you know, I'm sorry for what my people did to your people, you know, and I gotta say, it was just so unbelievably sweet. Like, I, yeah, 100% down for, you know, they very nearly kiss and then the trolls, you know, take take them all. But yeah, it's, that was really, really sweet. The... Yeah, and and Jade saying, you know, I I am and have been for now, been, been now for quite some time, ridiculously, desperately, hopelessly in love with you, and you know, Kit says she feels the same, and you know, in in about ten seconds, I'm gonna kiss you, and one of my ah crap, is that a spoiler? I guess what I will say is, some years ago, there was a show where one of the female characters had a crush on another female character, and she doesn't ask consent before she kisses her. The The kiss is how she... That's, that's basically the reveal for her being in love. I really appreciate that here. Like, she specifically, she said, you know... I really want to kiss you. And the, you know, yeah, she even, you know, she says, you know, in, in 10 seconds, you have to either, you know, either I'm going to kiss you or you have to tell me that you don't want to kiss. You know, see, consent doesn't have to, I, I it's so frustrating when people say that if you, you know, oh, if, if you always ask consent, then there's not going to be any, any passion left. There you go. You know, honestly, I'm sure the writers will be happy to ha for for you to just quote Jade. Just you know, instead of going up and kissing the person, or or the you know, just verbally state what you really want to do to them, and then either say you know, in in so and so many seconds, or you know, say you know, are is that okay? Are or, or do you want that too? Something like that. You know, but but yeah, and and the the yeah, so sweet when when Kit says she she feels the same way, you know, and that is like basically what we saw before, um, you know, yeah, last episode, you know, the the um, the haunted house episode, the the thirteen ghosts episode, basically the the um, yeah, you know, that they both said oh, I don't I don't have the hots for her, no, me neither. You know, basically, both of them were scared that the other one would, you know, say say no, and they'd be heartbroken. So, you know, and and yeah, you know, sometimes it can work out really well if at least one of the the people get, you know, just a little bit of a buzz going, and and are able to lower their um, inhibitions to the point where they can just express these feelings. And yeah, you know. Maybe it's a no. Uh, I've been there. That sucks. But at least you know. You know? And, yeah, there's some chance that it's a yes. I've been there, too. Uh, let's see. And it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if this episode was maybe going to be, like, a holiday-themed episode. Uh, I mean, there is a party. I guess maybe that's because, you know, Christmas is in three days, I guess. Um, but, but yeah. Um, certainly, I, if, if they outright did a Christmas episode, that would be kind of weird, because, like, there's no... Um, yeah, it would, it would have to... It would be a different... Um, you know, I'm sure they have someone to celebrate, but it's, it's not Jesus. Um... I think that was it.
was everything that I had to say. Uh, I'm just really quickly going to see if I can think of anything else. And if I don't, I will move on. Um... Yeah, uh, I, I continue to really feel like uh, every episode gives us something really compelling. Uh, there, I, I like the answers to the various mysteries so far. Um, let's see. You know, yeah, we're, we, still, we still don't know what exactly it was with Willow. Because at some point he did learn magic. You know, it wasn't by the end of the movie. But he does now know some magic. Uh, let's, oh, right, I like when Elora said, I'm using my mind to remove the stick from your butt and letting me use the wand. Is it working? Just, that, uh, yeah, may not have worked on him, worked on me. Not not the stick butt situation, that's entirely unaffected, but made me chuckle. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think... That is, yeah, I'm, you know, obviously we still don't know, like, there, there are things we still don't know, but, you know, there's, what, three more, ep three more episodes, you know. Uh, I guess I will do a really quick search to see, to see if a second season has been announced, and if not, ah, uh, I didn't mean for it to speak. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so basically, Kazdan has plans, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the most recent was uh, the 12th... Oh, hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, six days ago... Uh, had, hadn't been announced, whether a second season was in the cards. I gotta say, um, I guess maybe it is this thing of, like, that used to be such a frustrating thing. Like, I'm really glad I'm not watching TV anymore and getting super into a TV show, and then the first season ends and are like, oh, I can't wait to see what they do next, and then it's cancelled even though it got fairly decent, like, um, viewership, you know, so far, the, the MCU, the, the Disney Plus, the Disney Plus shows, the endings we get, um, even, you know, there, there might be, like, some room for another, for, for at least one more season, but, but yeah, you know, um, I guess maybe Mandalorian season one, but we already knew. Like, I'm almost certain when they, you know, before the end of Mandalorian season one, they were like, this is so popular, we're definitely going to make at least one more season. Um, let's see. Yeah, and, and Mandalorian season two also ends up. But, again, we knew there was going to be more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, the all of the, all of the MCU Disney Plus shows end in a way where it's uh, not not low-key, but by the time th we got that episode, we already knew there was going to be at least one more season. And yeah, other than that, you know, all of the, all of the different ones, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go through all of them so you want, just I literally, I, I mean every single one, all of them have an ending where, you know, I could see how they could make at least one more season, but it's also, no, you know, they told an entire story, beginning, middle, and end, we don't need any more, and they kind of just wait and see, does it do well, and if not, it's it's okay, you know. Yeah, I, I'm really, really glad. It's been a long time since I got super hyped for a show, and then by the end of the, the um... By the end of one of the seasons, there's this, like, you know, we, we've got to see what happens next. And then it's canceled without, yeah. A actually, yeah, um, Prison Break Season 5 also ends, I I swear I'm not going to spend forever gushing over Prison Break. Because there are hours worth 
a vlog of me doing just that. So, you know, if you want to hear what I think about Prison Break, you know, I, I hope you cleared the weekend schedule because there's a lot. But, yeah, um, and, you know, you just if you go to my, my channel page and do a search for Prison Break, you'll find it all. Um, yeah, uh, the... the um, what was the thing? I can't believe I'm blanking on it now. Um, yes, season five ends in a way where they could easily have a season six. And maybe, you know, it has been a couple of years now, so maybe not. But then there was a much longer break between season four and season five. You know, and season four, they ended, they thought they weren't going to get more. So they made sure to, you know, close up everything and somehow, for season five, they managed to find a story that they could tell in this short amount of time. And the ending is satisfying for if we never get another, you know, if, if there is never more prison official Prison Break content in any form, you know, you can, you can stop after season four, you can stop after season five. You know, do do not stop after one of the first three seasons because you're really gonna be like, okay, what happens next? I gotta know, unless you lose interest, obviously. But yeah, yeah, uh, seems like today it is being, you know, the the people making these shows are are careful to make sure because it is like it's super frustrating. It makes you not want to get into shows, you know. Um, I haven't watched all the Marvel Netflix ones through, but, you know, okay, so, so far, the ones I've seen, the, the all, all of the material of, are Defenders, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, and certainly, um, yeah, all, all three, I would have liked more, but it is also, like, there's some closure to the really major stuff, and it's basically like it's setting it's you could easily see how they could follow up the story but it's also like the the stuff that really needed to be you know yeah you know stuff like alias and lost were just like really i love alias and lost is a show there's stuff about it that i still really appreciate but when they would end a season, it would be like, are you kidding? I gotta wait that all those months to see what happens next, you know? And it just, like, it's not necessary. Like, if you have really good material, people will come back, even if it seems like you close off most of the, you know... And, and to be fair, it's not... Wait, let me think. Okay, so... so... Yeah, yeah, it is. Like, by the end of the fifth season, you know, a lot of the, the most major story stuff has been, you know, and, and they also, they knew that was the last season, and they, they, you know, they knew there would be less episodes, so, you know, we didn't miss anything. But the first four seasons, like, yeah, it really, and, and Lost was really, really bad in that regard. Anyway, um... Yes, I would like a season two, but it looks to me like they are going to be completely able to finish off all the plot threads and provide backstory for everyone, you know, to so that, yeah. Um, by the end of the first episode, I cared about every single major character, and it seems like by the end of the entire season... I will know a lot about every single character, and yeah, I've really, really appreciate. It. I, I this is this is such a great way to do an ensemble. Um, that was also a problem with Lost. Like some of the characters, it was a long time before we really learned that much, and certainly that much interesting. You know, sometimes sometimes they would promise answers and not really deliver. But anyway. Yes, so, uh, let's see, I will be doing one more video. I, I don't expect to do more than m one more video this week, and yes, so stay tuned for that, and if not, I will catch you next week.